So the question, why should a woman be beaten by her husband when she's done nothing wrong? Also, some people do ask, well, if wife beating is permissible in Islam? Well, some or most people do misinterpret the verse from the Holy Quran, from Surah Nisa, Quran number 4, verse number 34. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَاللَّهَةِ تَخَوْفُونَ نُشُوزَهُنَّ فَيْذُوهُنَّ وَهْجُرُوهُنَّ فِي الْمَضَاجِعِ وَضْرِبُوهُنَّ فَإِنْ أَطَعْنَكُمْ فَلَا تَبْغُوا عَلَيْهِنَّ سَبِيلًا I say, if you fear disobedience from your wife, from them, فَيْذُوهُنَّ You should admonish them, you should advise them. وَهْجُرُوهُنَّ فِي الْمَضَاجِعِ then you should separate from them from the sleeping place, maybe from the bed. Wadribuhun. So this word, Wadribuhun, from the word Doraba, which so many people have translated to be, to beats. This was explained in the Tafsir, Tafsir Jalalin. It says, Doraban ghayra mabrihin illam yarji bil hijran. You see, a very light beating if they do not, if they persist in their rebelliosity. And while describing this beating, like using the siwak, which is the toothbrush, which in the modern days is like using you no know, very light clothes. And again, the Prophet Sallallahu has told us not to hit your wife or any woman on the face. It's prohibited. And... You shouldn't leave any scar or mark on the body. So when they say you should beat, you should not hit on the face or any sensitive part of the body. And you should not leave the scar on the, on the body of the woman. Then what would you call that beating? It is more like a symbolic beating. It is not physical or fascia. It's more like a symbol. When you've admonished her, she persists, she continues with the wrong thing she's doing, then you've separated from her from the bed and you show that, okay, I'm serious about this, I, this thing I don't want you to do. Then the next step is the light beating. So with this, you won't, you, you, we've not seen any single hadith from the prophet or Head of any hadith, you had the Sahaba of the Prophet be their wife. If not, you know, if when this ayah was was revealed, you know the people who received the Quran, the Arabs, then you would have seen men beating their wives. But this was not the case. It is only we who don't understand this language that are misunderstanding it, the translation. It does not mean we should batch our wife or beat them. And as prophet is prohibited to beat them in any sensitive part of the body or put any mark in the body. Then we can't really translate that to be beaten because it's not permissible. So it's more like a symbolic beating. Then at the end of this verse, If then they turn back, if they realize and, you know, seek your face, then you should not turn your face against them. Then for those people who do beat their wives in the name of the Quran said you can beat, these people are to be held responsible for their actions, not the Quran. Those who batch their wife, punch their wife, you know, show all their muzzles by beating their wife, they should be held responsible and not Islam. Because Islam does not teach us to hit our wife or they put scars on the body of punch them or whatsoever. So this answers the question.